Speaking of the weather, a wind advisory is in effect throughout the overnight hours. So Betsy, what can we expect here on this Friday? Well, we have two different impacts that we're keeping an eye on. Obviously, the rain, which just continues to come down, and the wind. We are getting peak wind gusts over 40 miles per hour right now. That will continue for the next couple of hours and even into the overnight. Wind advisory through 5 a.m. now for all the areas you see here highlighted in yellow. And you can see where those wind gusts are the strongest. Right now, down around Worcester, cl clocking a 41 mile per hour gust. We've had 40 plus mile per hour gusts time to time up around the Lakeshore area. Matter of fact, Burke Lakefront Airport at one point recording a 47 mile per hour gust today and the gusts are still coming up. We have a very blustery night on our hands. At the same time, we have a northwest wind that is continuing to propel this rain through the area. You can see here on the back edge, though, of this rain finally starting to move in. So we do have hopes that we will begin a slow drying process. The problem is it's going to be a slow drying process. And all the while, we still have all of these wind gusts to talk about. So we're still in this window for the next few hours where 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts are going to be possible. And slowly but surely, those wind gust numbers will be coming down. But the rain is expected to continue. I don't think we're going to have the rain moving out until later on tonight. And then tomorrow we're expecting some sunshine. Nice recovery. And we're going to talk all about that in your full forecast in just a little bit. All right, Betsy, thanks so much. See you in a little bit.